Hi. So this is like the fourth take I've done because my camera is being weird right now after I got hit in the face with it, and I still need to figure that out. But not this really cool package. Uh, something that means a lot to me. My aunt Judy and I went to a bar called Manhattan when I was going through like the first year of my recovery, and it's this close to slipping. Uh, they had a drink called like the Hatter's Punch and a bunch of rum and like served in a top hat. I nearly bought it. It's like a forty dollar drink. Manju yeah. gave me some advice and it kinda of stuck with me, so like just to like remind myself of it. I got like the Mad Hatter on my own. Uh, my initial idea was kinda of more like maybe for Christmas thing than it was Alice in Wonderland with like maybe for Christmas. I actually like how it turned out, having a mixture of these, so that makes me happy. Um, having on my arm also is like a reminder so I can actually see it, that there's another way. Like, I've been sober for like seven years. It's been a very fun seven years. So, what's in the box has nothing to do with Mad Hatter though, technically. Uh, American McGee, the video game, the Alice in Wonderland series, is an amazing game. I love the style. And they have a sword called the Purple Sword. I found it. And I got it. It's in the box. I have opened said box. I haven't actually seen the sword yet, so I'm going to check that out. Oh, it is heavy. And that makes me happy because that's just quality. So this is a stand, which is cool because uh, I would very much like to be able to display this. And it comes with screws. I don't know what that's for. And this is the sword. Ooh, it is so heavy. This, wow. Wow. It's heavier than the jack. Oh my god. I, oh. I'm just gonna do that. Though. Is it short though? Or is it just. It's not sharp, but it is heavy. It's like a cleaver. Okay, so I'm actually very pleased with this. Is it pointy? I'm pretty sure if I sharpen this, it could become sharp. But this is a solid weight to it. Oh my god. Like my jackal blade, that, that doesn't weigh as much as this. This is like a... I love it, but oh my god. Yeah, so, I don't know if you can see it, but there's like a detail here, going up on both sides, the handle, and, oh, like, really cool play. I am pleased. Like, there's very few things that I actually enjoy more than it's, it's a good knife. Uh, my foster brother, Justin, uh, Back in the day when like we first met, we actually bonded over knives. I had like three spider knives that had like a black widow going down it. I had a blue one, the red one, and the silver one. I gave him the silver one. Uh, I still have the blue one in a drawer somewhere. And I didn't have all my knives taken away from me at one point uh, in like 2014. And it would have sucked if I lost that. So, happy I did it. The engravings are like kind of fits this mini hard life that I used to open that box originally. And I'm actually really excited to put this stand together. It is screws rather than that, so I need a screwdriver that I can do that. But I am hyped. Like, I love Alice in Wonderland. I know you guys can't see it, but an artist I've followed since like 2014 at Free Comic Book Day. I've heard about it from the staff at Spencer's at one point. Before that, though, uh, I actually drew some Alice in Wonderland inspired stuff that I bought at uh, events over the years. And, like, Alice has been like a story that I've always gone back to. Uh, Mad Hattie, uh, Cheshire Cat, Alice the White Rabbit. One of my tattoos is actually inspired by the White Rabbit. White, ah, White, White Rabbit. And, yeah. Originally it was in this moment, but the original logo kind of fits the White Rabbit theme, so I got the logo. Uh, used to be really, really good at one going on. And 
This is getting off topic in the music. But no. I am tight. Like, the fact this is as heavy as it is feels like an actual sword rather than a dagger. And I'm just. Yeah. Fuck. You have to be careful with this if it's short. Because you could hurt yourself. Stainless, made in China. Actually says vocal. All the engravings look like. Oh, I'm happy. I am really happy. There's a quote uh, in the game. I believe it's like something like, I have not come here to start a fight. And I think that's like my life motto for like the next couple of years. Like, I don't want any confrontations with people. I just want to like coexist and do my own thing. Like if they have an issue just with me being in an area, then they should probably leave because I don't have an issue with them. So I have not come to this fight. And that is the blade.